Yo, what's going on guys? It's Alpha Plays here and welcome back to another core episode. Today, we're going to be talking about NPCs. Uh, if you missed the previous videos of this RPG series that we're doing on core, go check them out. Uh, there'll be in a playlist, go check it out. Okay, so the last video we did, we actually talked about the uh, static player equipment, how to actually uh, get weapons on start, just like this. Today, we are focusing on changing the NPC's uh, stats. So his attack, his speed, all of that, let's get into it. We want to start off with a uh, marksman. So let's drag in a marksman. And he's not looking the right way, so let's just rotate him uh, 180. Okay. So we have a marksman here. First thing you want to do, go to your marksman and uh, open it up and open up server context. You'll see something called uh, NPC attack server. Click on it and go down. And immediately you see damage to players, damage to NPCs. Now, by default, both of these would be set to 5. Uh, I made my own template and set them both to 20. If you go down a little bit more, you will also see some other settings as well that we're going to cover a little bit later. So, let me just uh, start it up and show you guys. This is what it's looking like currently. So, it does 20 damage to my health bar, and I'm done. <laughs> so, what else could we do? Let's go back to that NPC attack server in the server context. And let's see, we have damage to players, so this is what's basically damaging us, damage to NPCs. But if we go down here, what is all of this? We have projectile lifespan. So how many seconds the projectile will fly in the air and be destroyed in case it does not impact anything. And then you have the speed of that projectile. So if I also put this on like a thousand, it would be much slower. I could probably dodge it. But let's see right now what it looks like. See, as you can see, it's it's much slower. Now if I also change the projectile to uh, gravity to two, let's see what happens. As you can see, it does have much more gravity on it. So that's basically what's happening there. The arrow is kind of going down more. So that's gravity. Now let's cover projectile homing. This is going to be very OP. Uh, this basically, f the arrows will follow you. Let's let's just see what this looks like. So as you can see, he's not gonna miss because the arrows are like tracked to me. <laughs> so it's very OP. But you could turn the, the homing acceleration down to like, uh, you know, like 7,000. Then you'll be able to actually do something maybe. And this is the homing drag, air drag, to be used if homing is enabled. So uh, I gotta keep remembering to full screen, you guys. So as you can see, it's much slower now. It's still very hard to dodge it. But if you try to stay away from two seconds... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's very challenging. But I did use this for like a boss battle, because, you know, it, it's very hard. You have all those options, and now we're going to get into options um, when you just... Let's just collapse everything, and just head straight over to the marksman. And go down, you're gonna see a bunch of settings. Object ID, we're not really going to worry about any of this. Team does is important, because if you have this on team 1, he will be your ally and attack other teams. So now, as you can see, he's not going to attack me. I can't attack him. Um, if I also put him on team 2, and then if I duplicate Marksman by just doing Control w and put this one on team 1, they're going to fight each other. Let's see that. Alright, let's see. So as you can see, they are attacking each other. Um... They should both die at the same time, unless one of them got a shot early on. Let's see. Come on. Alright. What does it look like? It look it looks like they're both gonna die at the same time. But yeah, so you can kinda have fights like this, it's very interesting. You can have like your own team versus the enemy team. Yo, okay. <laughs> so there's that as well. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it on team two. Uh, so team one, you could even put it on team three, or I think it goes up to 99. So they won't be on your team either. Team one, there's they're on your team. That's your team. And team two, three, four, all that is just different teams. So if I also have somebody from team two and team three, and one of them would kill the other one, then they're gonna start attacking me. Uh, but if he won the battle here, then he wouldn't attack me because he's on team one. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna move past this. Current health. This is important. Uh, health, health of the NPC. If I was to put this on like 200, it's gonna be much easier to kill the NPC. As you can see. Okay. Move speed. So this is how fast he moves. So let's put this on double what it is. He's going to move much faster. Uh, turn, as you can see, look, look how fast he moves. <laughs> uh, and then uh, the turn speed is how fast he will turn around. So if I was to put this at like 20, he's going to turn super fast. And what else is important here? You got some radiuses here. Uh, the max vision. Oh yeah, his turn speed. So as you can see, you can see his turn is very fast. Okay. So yeah. Uh, that's that's that. I'm gonna cover some of this vision radius. If I was to put this like at like 100, then he's I'm pretty sure he's just vision is gonna suck. Yeah. So I would have to be like right here. Bro, he's not even attacking. How how short is 100? Let's try like a uh, 500. 
right there. So as you can see, that's just the radius that he will attack. And then he also then he also has an attack range, chase radius. He will give up on the chase if you go too far away. This is what I was talking about, attack range. So with this, the NPC engages and moves towards the target until that target is within the attack range. So as you see, when I was moving away, that was all the attack range. Once I got out of that range, then he started to chase. That was a chase range. So if I was to put this at like uh, 800. Okay, so we gotta get pretty close because I turned it to 500. Then once it's activated, this is a different distance. It's 800. Look how fast he moves though. So when he's moving, that's the chase radius. And now I got out of the radius, he left me alone. I don't know what's going on with that arrow. Attack cast. Attack cast, recovery, and cooldown. These are very important. If I was to put this at 2, 1, and 1, he's gonna shoot very, very slow. So you got the cooldown, recovery, and the cast. Cast is like the wind up time. This is the, during an attack, the attack time is an amount in seconds after pro the projectile is created, during which the NPC winds down their attack and essentially does nothing. Then you have the cooldown, which they cannot shoot again for that period of time. So let's see it. It should be taking like 3 seconds to actually <laughs> So, that's all of that. So guys, as you can imagine, if you were to make it very short, let's just say that there's no recovery or cooldown. Now, every 0.5 seconds, he's going to shoot an uh, arrow. Let's see that. As you can see. Next video, we're going... Oh my god! I did cover this in already a video. But uh, you could as well uh, scale your NPC. So if I was to do like 1.5 scale, it's going to ask to apply for all the nodes. Hit OK. And now he's 1.5 to size. 1.5 to size. Oh my, I can't talk. Okay. 1.5 the size. So yeah, you could you could scale him as well. You can make him super tiny, do like 0 0.5. That would be half of his. Okay, now he's very small. So next video, we're gonna cover customization. Stay tuned for then. I'll try to make it. You know, try to make it soon. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, man. If you like it, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, check out all my other videos on Core in the playlist. Um, my first and second video were also about NPCs, so that will definitely help you if you're struggling with anything. Thank you so much. Peace out.